Hi guys, this is the Blender Burger tutorial, I'm CG Crafted and in this series I will show you how to create a beautiful photorealistic landscape. With this we can create landscapes like this and this. To create this we will use Blender's built-in landscape uh, generator add-on, but it is the easiest part. After that we will need to create a very complex uh, node setup that I will make available to download for only $12. Naturally, I will show in the tutorial series how to create the node setup for the terrain, but you know you might not want to spend so much time on this, so buying it is another option. The only difference between the tutorial and the paid version will be that the paid version is a little bit more uh, organized, as I had people in mind who might not want to watch the whole process and just want to jump right into it and use it. Okay, so let's start. First, we need to have the test landscapes we can use. We need to create two landscapes, this is not required, but it's good to see how our node setup behaves in different environments. The point is to create a very smooth landscape, for example a hillside and the other landscape should have higher mountains. This is for testing purposes only, uh, this node setup should work with any not, uh, natural looking landscape otherwise, but it's good to check how, how it behaves in different use case scenarios. So come up here to check if you have the ENT landscape add-on enabled. It's in the preferences and here under the add-ons. Okay, if you enable it, uh, you need to come over here and click on this ENT landscape button to create the landscape. This landscape uh, generator has a lot of presets, which makes it very easy for us to create the test landscapes. I will try to make a hillside so a lot of grass will go, uh, cover this and it won't have uh, steep mountain sides or anything steep. Ok, let's see. This is the option window for the landscape. Let's try this. I want to make the spruce landscape first. Let's change some settings. I will try to change the noise. Nice. And now I will use the amp uh, value here to change the landscape into a very smooth hill landscape. Okay, that's about right. Okay, now that we are done, click away to finish the creation process. This means we can't edit the landscape with the add-on anymore, which, is, uh, too com which isn't too comfy, but at least we have a nice terrain. Ok, it's time to grab it and push it out of our view like this and leave it there. Come back to the ANT landscape generator and let's create the second mountain landscape. Don't forget you don't have to create the exact same landscape as I do, just look out for the difference that we need, one mountain and the one smooth landscape. Okay, now it's time to adjust the mountain. I will swap between the presets. Oh, what is this? It's a pretty cool preset. I haven't even noticed uh, this one before. Okay, I got distracted a little. Let's continue. I will use the mountain preset and use this noise type to create the mountain. Also, I don't want it to be unrealistically high, so I will reduce the height. That seems right. Okay, we have two landscapes. I will resize them to make their size more realistic. Although in most of my videos I apply the scale, you shouldn't do it for any landscapes that you use with the uh, ultimate landscape material because it will mess up the values. So if you apply the scale, you might need to change a lot of things in the node setup, which means just uh, leave it as it is. But we also need to UV unwrap this, so get into edit board, press U twice, which will unwrap the texture into a nice plane. To check if everything is fine, swap this down here to a UV editing view. See, the texture seems okay. Do the same to the other landscape. 
Also, I mean the shading mode, as you can see probably on the screen. Before we start creating the nodes, we will prepare the scene for final render. This has to be done now, unlike in my traditional beginner tutorials, because when we test the landscape, we need to see the final result. Go to Cycles Render in your Render tab and change the feature set from Supported to Experimental. This will create a very dangerous playing field for us, that's why we have a dangerous sign next to it. Just kidding. I don't know why this function is still called Experimental in Blender 2.8, it stayed the same as in 2.79 and both versions were stable with this and this function is used a lot of times. What function you might ask? Very good question. It's the special adaptive subdivision fu function that subdivides the object uh, relative to the camera. So if the landscape is very close to the camera, it will be very detailed, while the further parts of the terrain remain low poly. This saves resources while letting us have detailed and photorealistic environments. The experimental features have brought up the subdivision subtab where we can control the detail level of the subdivision. Unless uh, you have 32 GB of RAM or more, never let the dice rate at the 1 pixel or something like that because it will eat up your RAM. As you see, the maximum subdivision level is uh, 12, which is insane, and it will eat up all the resources while we don't need that much detail for almost any scene. Change the dicing size to 3 pixels, if you have a slow computer 4 or 6 pixels is fine, but over that it will start to look quite blocky as you lose too much detail. The preview can be 14 pixels, this means we will have even less detail while we preview the uh, render. Which you know is totally ok for a preview. Ok, this is enough, now it's time to add our new subdivision modifier, which has expanded its uh, functions. Click on Adaptive Render and leave it as is. The Viewport Subdivision uh, is your good old basic subdivision mode for the viewport, so it won't change much. The real change starts when you click on the Render Preview up here in the Viewport Display menu or when you click on Render up here. Ok, so we have our Adaptive Subdivision and the landscape set up. For today this is enough, but the next episode will be up shortly where we create the actual NOAA setup. Hope you like this video, make sure to turn on the notifications to see the newest tutorials. Check out my stuff on CG Trader. I have some free models, and if you want to support me feel free to buy some models. Links are in the description.